Hello, dear fans and all of us of freedom. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to some of you, depending on your time zone and geographical space. Wherever you are domiciled, I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, my name is Mazi Victor. I bring you greetings from here. Of course, this program is a program that was designed to bring you the in-depth analysis of what is happening, especially in this very part of the world uh, that is called Nigeria or the Zoo Animal Kingdom. We can do good to share our program in all the social media spaces. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Skype, we are on Twitter, we are on WhatsApp, we are also on Facebook Messenger. And also, you can do good to log on to our website, which is www.bfantv.co. Make sure you call your friends, your well wishers, your neighbors, even the enemies of their friends, to come close and listen to the gospel of truth because this is where we come to expose the lies of the zoo. This is where we come to establish the truth for you to know the direction of the and uh, or the true position of things we don't hide anything we don't come here to lie we come here to expose the lies of the zoo once again i welcome you today uh, to today's uh, sunrise edition of course i'm not alone in the studio i'm here with uh, wada onyechi nabuko wada onyechi nabuko good morning good morning victor how are you i'm good and you i'm fine okay Thanks. please can you say hello to the beer fans hello beer fans all over the world good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone and my name is onyechi nabuko i implore you to join us in the next couple of hours as we expose the corruption going on in nigeria all right, thank you very much, Wada uh, Onyechi Nabuko. Of course, uh, we'll be welcoming Mazevis as soon as he joins us online because he too is going to do the great work of uh, educating our people and enlightening our people and telling you the raw truth of the situation of things on ground. I implore you to call your friends, your well wishers, make sure you are not listening alone. Call everybody together and let them come close and listen to you because you are go going to get nothing but the gospel truth here. Once again, I welcome you to Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Uh, my name is Mazi Victor, and, uh, and I have uh, Mada Onyechi Nabuko with me here, who is going to be educating our people on all the issues we have here. First of all, we have to look at the press release that was uh, made by the indigenous people of Biafra yesterday, and uh, from there we can start analyzing. I welcome you once again, Mada Onyechi. Thank you, Victor. Okay, I read out the press release. It goes like this. OKZ and Obiano must release innocent Biafrans arrested under their watch or face the retributive consequences. IPOB press statement. Now here's the details. It has come to the knowledge of the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, how the Nigerian police officers posted in Biafran land, particularly those Fulani police officers deployed in Anambra and Abia states, are uh, used to parade in innocent uh, citizens as IPOB members in Alka with allegation of carrying guns and AK-47 rifle in Orumba, Anambra states. It is clear that the whole allegation was purely designed and handed over to Fulani police officers by governor, governors of Anambra and uh, Abia State Chief Willie Obiano and uh, Okezie Ikbazo. It's important we notify the whole world that government of uh, Fulani people in Nigeria, Igbo governors, police and army are at it again. There has intensified another round of uh, manhunt and arrest of individuals, including innocent citizens they suspected to be sympathizers of uh, IPOB member in Abia and Anambra states. Our uh, people are in serious danger over the recent latest version of manhunt and illegal arrest going on in Abia and Anambra states, which was instructed by OKZ Bazo and uh, Willy Obiano. Also, we want to use this press statement to remind Nigerians and stakeholders in Ibio and the uh, Anambra state to warn Okezie Ikwazo and his counterpart Willy Obiano to release those arrested in their respective states or wait to see IPOB news strategy to restore Biafra sovereignty in a shortest possible time. Governor Okezie Ikwazo, Willy Obiano and other South East governor must leave IPOB members alone before it is too late for them. It is a pity and unbelievable that Anambra State Police Command in Aoka would be working with the scripts already handed over to them by William Biano to intimidate and arrest innocent citizens who are living in Orumba North and South of Anambra State with the accusation of carrying guns and AK-47 rifles. The world already knew that IPOB members 
doesn't go with guns or AK-47 rifles since inception and formation of this great and noble movement which is solely championing the Biafran freedom and sovereignty by our prophets and peaceful leader in person of Emazi Namdekano. Nigerians must thank God the Father in heaven who mandated our leader Mazi Namdekano to be peaceful in his approaches to restore Biafran sovereignty. The most painful and disturbing thing is how media houses in Biafran lands and Nigeria at large refuse to be bold enough to ask the police, okay, see, the Bazu, will you be alone? Question the technical difficulties. All right, I continue from where I stop. Now this press statement goes uh, goes like this: uh, Nigeria must thank God, the Father in heaven, who mandated our leader Mazin Namdekano to be peaceful in all in all his uh, approaches to restore Biafra. The most painful and disturbing thing is how media houses in Biafran land and Nigeria at large refuse to be bold enough to ask the police Okezie Ikbazo Obiano and to question them about the offense and false allegation that they level against the people. Police DSS army always level against IPOB members in the country with a false allegation. We wondered and still surprised when has the peaceful, reputable IPOB started carrying guns and AK-47 rifles in Biafra land or in the whole of Nigeria. We are worried over the deployment and uh, posting of a full army, Nigerian police and army officers in Biafra land. All the commissioners of police in Anambra and Abia state, including other states in Biafra land, are all full army officers, both their spoke persons, area commanders, and DPOs are all full armies. Our people are seriously under cage, while the so called governors, who claim to be chief security officers of the state, and the Hanes Ndibo are busy licking the foot of their full army slave masters in the north. We hereby reiterate once again to all and sundry that IPB members never attacked or burnt police station in Ajali of Orumba, Anambra State, and will never do so until Biafra freedom is restored. Therefore, we are asking the friends and relatives of uh, Obiano and Okezi Ikpasu to tell them to release those arrested illegally in their respective states immediately, particularly those uh, in connection to this recent incidents in Orumba, whom we are not uh, unaware that they never in their lifetime think of attacking or to burn any police station in Ajal, Orumba, LGA, or anywhere across their front land. Comrade Ima Powerful, Media and Publicity Secretary for IPOB. All right, Wanda uh, Onyechi I welcome you once again. Thank you. Victor. All right, from the very first statement uh, that I just read out, I mean, what would you be making of it? I, the fact is that I need the world to know that the number one enemy of this country is the politicians, the leaders. They are the number one enemy of the people. They are the ones antagonizing the people, antagonizing their life, killing them and perpetrating all sorts of um, criminal acts on them. They are the people that are supposed to lead and guide the people. Take for instance in Anambra State, there is high insecurity problem. A lot of things are falling apart in Anambra State, yet the government of Anambra is concentrated on, you know, taking away people that are voicing out against the abnormalities in the country, in the nation, in the state. I want to also remind the world that it is the same Oscar Kezi that sent men to go and kill Mazin Namdekano in his house September last year. He killed 28 Biafrans. It is Obiano that killed Biafrans, denied them their right to live. So this country is the way it is because of the politicians. Our people are not safe in this country. They are killing us anyhow. Just last two years, one of us was, ki uh, was killed, an IPOB member was killed by a SAS, by a, a SAS officer, just for um, uh, 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 not giving him money. 
he refused to give them money, has been bribing them um, whenever he's passing that particular um, um, road. So on that particular day, he refused to give them money. What they do? They chased him, they caught him, and they shot him. And that's his own life. Now, we don't, we don't value human lives anymore in Nigeria, and it is, it is very painful. We don't value our lives anymore. And I say um, it's not really the fault of the politician, it is the fault of the people. Because you find out that it is these same people that continue to support the politician, most of us, some of us. If we can excommunicate them, if we can come out in masses and protest against the ill they are doing to us, the harm they are doing to us, then I, I, I think that the world will start you know, taking us serious because they are not taking us serious enough. We are not safe in this country. So, uh, Obiano, with what he's doing, he's, I think if I'm to advise him, he should look into Anambra State. Anambra State is rotten. There is high insecurity problem in Anambra State. People are dying of hunger. There is no employment in Anambra State. Cultism is on the rise in Anambra State. Instead of Obiano to do something to curb all these things that is happening, Obiano is more concerned in killing innocent people, in charging them with pent up charges. IPOB is a peaceful organization. Since the inception of IPOB, you've not heard that they've gone violent on the people. They have been protesting peacefully, voicing out. I mean, self determination is, uh, is recognized by the UN. We have the right to come out to the street and say, okay, we need to require a referendum to determine if we are going to continue as one Nigeria or we want a nation of our own. So it is about time the world recognizes that our problem in this country is the politicians. They are the ones antagonizing us. They are the ones killing us. They are the ones that is making Nigeria the way it is, not the people. Not, and it's just the leaders. We don't, Nigeria is not interested in good leaders. That is it. Like they are not interested, they are only interested in the people that will continue to suppress the people. All of them are, they are witches, I'm sorry to say. They are all under blood oath to continue to suppress the people, to deprive the people, to continue to suck their blood. And if something is not done about this, I don't know what will be the fate of their friends in years to come, but thank God for Mazi Nam the Khan will continue to speak for the people in spite of everything they are doing to um, um, suppress him, to get him to keep quiet. He has refused. He has refused to be intimidated. So I will implore our people, no matter what they are doing, that we should not be discouraged. And secondly, no matter what they are doing, we should always stand in the truth. Because the truth is, Nigeria is not safe anymore. And our only hope is Biafra. Our only hope is Biafra. So I'm telling our people that we should continue to protest. No matter what they are doing, we should continue to protest. Because if we give down to their, to their intimidation, that means we've lost in the end. We cannot lose. We come so far not to lose. And Obiano should know that the world is watching. This, all these things he's doing to our people, he's definitely going to pay for it when the time comes. There's no hiding place in Biafra land. There's no place he can hide. As in a, a, I mean, I mean, the point, that is a land will open up and swallow all of them when the time comes. As he did Korak, all these people that are doing all sorts of things against Biafrans, when the time comes, they are going to pay for it. That is one thing I know for sure. Right. Thank you very much, Mada uh, Onyechi Nabuko, for that wonderful submission. Of course, I will come back to you shortly. Let me welcome Mazi Evi Samudiwe, who has just joined us. Mazi Evi Samudiwe, good morning. Yes, good morning, my comrade Victor. How Osho. are you doing? And uh, as you can see, um, the glory of Chukoka Biyama is upon us, and we are shining uh, like a glory and a, a better light to the perfect of Biafran's restoration. So, I thank you, and um, both of you are looking gorgeously cute, both you and um, one of the, um, uh, my sister. Thank you. Okay, Yechi. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Can you say hello to the Biafrans listeners watching you all over the world? Yes. Um, hello to all Biafrans listening. Uh, we are once again on air this very morning. Please come close and bring your friends, your family, even the old ones, please. Um, there is power in the media. So because you don't know what you don't, you, you cannot act what you don't hear. You act on what you hear and then um, hearing comes via media. And that is exactly what we are doing, debunking the lies of the zoo. So thank you very much. 
All right, thank you very much, Abu Damazi Evis Of course, uh, I would like you to come in at this particular point in time, based on the press release that I have already. Though we have a number of issues we are going to be looking in, into much later, but this very press release is something that is very critical for us to look into because uh, these people we handed our, I mean, we trusted, we entrusted with uh, our security yes. and uh, lives in their hands. I don't know why they uh, decided to uh, collaborate with the House of Lani in order to sell out our people. I mean, I want to know, I want you to get your own reaction. What would you make of it from the letters happening now? Yes, um, my brother, um, what I have to make on this very um, trending news about the subsequent um, arrest and um, claiming what they did not commit, um, if you if you check it very well, it, 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 it's from the, uh, the kind of assignment they, 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 they signed, the, 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 the agreement they, they, they went with um, uh, with, the, with the zoo government, that is Jibril uh, uh, and the also oligarchy, because I could remember vividly when Uche Oga came up uh, to do his uh, uh, rally in a bar. A day of, um, I mean, a day after the day he killed innocent souls. The letter he wrote to the the presidency, that is the, the bureau, was made uh, open to the public, and uh, we understand that the, his problems are the gathering of the IPOB, Restoration of Biafra, and uh, again with the the, the, the um, uh, what do you call it, bringing back the. Um, what do, with this uh, mm, cow railing of cow sorry railing of cow okay so, so if you check it very well you will notice that uh, their problems are not them problems and their problems are not the masses of the south i mean southeastern as it's not the, uh, the, the problem of their friends they are they are playing the, the, the script rule that, that that has been given to that was given to them by the outside oligarchy because uh, this very man called um, Obia Bob, I don't call him Obia no, because he's an Obia Bob man, thought that he owns the whole world and um, he owns uh, the, the Biafrans, more especially Anambra people. You know, the, 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 the problem there is that uh, uh, he continued to do this and nobody has ever been, uh, nobody has risen up to shut him down or ask him why. And they continue to do the things that they have been doing, arresting people just like a thousand with impunity. You know, um, if if somebody stood up right now, a uh, kind of uh, fearlessly to ask him why all these things, I, I believe so this all this nonsense was stop because let me just tell you, the SARS and the uh, other uh, 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 militia are not even they are, they are not recognized by the Nigerian police force because this very SARS of a thing has been abolished by the new police uh, uh, inspector general. But it's only in an another state, another state, that these people are working, which means their their work are illegal, and people are buying. Uh, uh, kind of people are afraid of them. Why? Because of the guns and uh, the maltreatments and all kind of things that they are doing to the people. How could you not tell me that when people gather to have some meet, have their meetings or uh, kind of deliberate on certain issues, you come there with guns, without shirts, without such a uh, kind of uh, uh, arrest warrant, without your uniform. You just jump down like a, a criminal or kidnappers trying to uh, kind of kidnapping people, frustrating them, beating them, even killing them at will. And people are around that place. I mean, keep quiet. it's only the Nigeria that, that, that the military or, or, or force, military force or police, you would have uniform has the right to go and uh, kind of uh, arrest anybody without being questioned or uh, kind of where is the arrest warrant. You know, so these things have been happening and uh, we have to look into it seriously. Because it's a, a quite alarming and very much is is uh, kind of disturbing, you know. For me personally, I I am tired of hearing this very man called Obia. But every time Obia, but every time Obia, but every time Obia, but how many heads that, that this this very man has? Don't he have children? Don't he have wives? He will be killing other people's children and will keep on saying Obia, but whatever. And, and people people that have been arrested and been shot and Obia, but don't don't we know about mean, his village? I uh, mean, all these things get to stop. It got to stop. It got to stop because it, it, the, 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 the government is for the people, by the people. Because he wasn't there by on his own. People elected him, though 
the, 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 the last election, nobody elected him, but he, he succeeded by a kind of putting himself into the government. But that, that shouldn't give him that very uh, a kind of uh, order to kill people at will, arrest people, and they kind of impose some certain things that they did not commit upon them just to kill them. This man was the man that killed our people in Amibala, called them acid. Very name is Cheryl Green. Throw some of them in River Niger. And their very story now has, you know, just, no media has been reported about it. And he continued to do those things every blessed day. This man will have to look into his case, so. We'll have to look into his case. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, uh, Mazi Evi Saundi, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, you made a valid point. I mean, one of the two things you pointed out is that no media uh, is really uh, giving it a uh, coverage that it deserves. And, uh, you know, from your own perspective, why do you think the media decided to uh, turn a blind eye on all these injustices that is going on, that is happening around us? And whenever IPOB does something positive, they will still find a way to use the, the, that same media to uh, begin to paint IPOB black and blue. But now the people are passing under uh, a heavy threat to their lives and uh, the media is doing nothing about it. And also they accuse the, those people, those innocent people of carrying AK-47 and other uh, uh, other weapons. I mean, what would you make of that? <laughs> uh, we, we are my, surprised. My, uh, can, can it be possible yeah. for IPOB members to start carrying uh, AK-47 and the other weapons they accuse them of? Mm. Or is it just my the phone they are the they are the ones making that up? We all know the truth, and we know how the, the, the Nigerians and the Lai Mohammeds uh, got their information. They left Aosa Oligaki, um, henchmen, Meeti Allah, who go around that carries AK-47. Do you think that AK-47 is very cheap for the people that, that has not been able to feed themselves to carry? Where did they got the money? The, the bullets, how much do you think they, they sell a, 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 a one piece of a bullet? They left the house up full and me with the, with the henchmen and uh, Mehdi Allah and uh, Boko Haram to carry AK-47, killing people at will. And they now use that very phrase to arrest innocent souls, to kill them, and to collect money for it because I saw a place where they, they, they were asked to, uh, uh, to bring one hundred twenty thousand naira for what purpose? What did that very man com com commit? Did they see any AK-47? He just uh, may accused. They accused them not that they, they, they not that they, they did the investigation and confirmed that this people has uh, uh, AK-47. The people that have AK-47 without license, without authority, are left to move around with the AK-47 around, around the streets. Even kill people. They, 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 who are those very men? Who are those people? Then why is it that the police will now use the same the same the same phrase? Leaving the people that carry AK-47, killing people at will, and went and start arresting people that did not commit even these are the people that have been killed and killed by the henchmen as well. Even you got class and what a number of weapon. Yet you get you don't even have pity. You don't have conscience that these people have been killed. They are being men. They are being committed in committing arrest crime against them. Yet you go to them and arrest them in order to make money. You kill them. Yet you arrest them and you collect money from them and you continue to kill them as well. My brother, this is a very big intimidation. This is a very big intimidation. Because why? Our so elite, none of them has been able to stood up speaking words. None of them have been able to uh, stood up and uh, kind of challenge these very men. And they're doing it a good while because somebody has collected money from this very government to do these very things they are doing. Because if not, I don't see any reason of this kind of rubbish happening continuously. My brother. I, I, I am just trying to tell you, anybody that said that I will be carries a for service should come out with clear evidence. Let us see. Because I know that will be don't have that very power. I know that we cannot do anything, but we don't, for now, we don't have any any fire firearms. We don't have any firearms. We don't have anything. We are just, we all, we are, all we are using is media and our words. So for you to use that very word is, is a crime against humanity because you are imposing a law that you are not even you don't have evidence to prove. Even the policeman that said that has to be arrested because he's carrying fake news. He's destroying the, the police force with fake work, with fake information. So thank you very much. All right, Mazi every sound. Thank you very much for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, uh, we'll come back to you uh, shortly. Of course, uh, we have another news here that I would like to read out so that uh, we can analyze from there. Mother Onyechi Nabuko, I welcome you once again. Thank you. All right, uh, the news goes like this. Breaking news. Nigeria takes top position among countries with severe hunger and hardship. A report by the United Nations. 
Now the he has the details. Nigeria has been listed as one of the countries experiencing acute hunger, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Global Report uh, on Food Crisis 2019. According to the report, no fewer than 113 million people are experiencing high level of uh, food insecurity in the world's most severe food crisis in 2018. The report, which was released on Wednesday, April 3rd, 2019, in Brussels, said the food crisis we are primarily caused by conflict and climate-related disasters. A report further showed that nearly two third of those facing acute hunger were in just eight countries. These countries affected are Afghanistan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ethiopia, Nigeria, South Sudan, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. The report states that the worst food crisis in 2018 in order of uh, uh, severity, we are Yemen, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, the Syrian Arab Republic, the Sudan, the South Sudan, and the Northern Nigeria. These eight countries accounted for two thirds of the total number of people facing acute food insecurity, amounting to nearly 72 million people. Also, the short-term outlook of uh, food insecurity for 2019 showed that Yemen and the Democratic Republic of Congo, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, the Syrian Arab Republic, the Sudan, South Sudan, and Northern Nigeria are expected to remain among the world's most severe food crisis in 2019. Large segments of the population in most of these countries risk falling into emergency, IPC and CH phase 4 level of uh, acute food insecurity it stated the report however added that the in in the 16 state of uh, northern nigeria and the federal capital territory abuja the number of people in crisis and emergency decreased by 40 percent between june and august 2017 and 18 and and in 2018 uh, 5.3 million people Awesome. These people have money to turn Nigeria into Dubai overnight. They have. They are due to get husbands. Now, also mentioned a lot of things. And even a lot of now they're using us to kill the ones that are, that, 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 that the ones that remains in, in, in their land. Says even that's away from their country. I mean, for their country. Uh, when they house so legally, people that valued number are there stealing and even taking up our, our, our dignity. No wonder they said it, this man that said it, and uh, 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 said it also, that they will frustrate us that we ourselves will not even have destiny, that even our destiny cannot be allowed to be brought on truth. And we can see it even uh, the, the, the Elijah Kunle and the one other man in the balance said it also, that, that, that at, the, at the end of four years, that you see the evils, the black ones, becoming, becoming irrelevant. And I saw this uh, Kemi, uh, somebody that was financial minister in Nigeria yesterday on Twitter. He said that, he, he, that she is happy. She is totally happy that Igbos are becoming financially irrelevant in the country. That this is just the beginning. My brother, we have a serious problem here. And we need to do something about it quick. If not, eh, in the next two years or three years to come, you see people selling their children to survive. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Abel Damazi Evis, on the way for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, um, just from the submission you have just made, uh, if you take, uh, I mean, on, for, on the contrary, if you take uh, a holistic look at the reports, you will see that uh, 16 states of the uh, northern Nigeria are the worst hit with these very figures of uh, hang hunger and uh, food crisis. And the other thing I have noticed uh, after going through the report is that uh, no Biafran, I mean, no states uh, located in Biafran land was uh, among the uh, people with uh, uh, food hunger problem and uh, I was surprised in spite of uh, the lack of infrastructure development in our land and in, in spite of uh, being shut out from uh, federal government development and all of that what, what, what do you think uh, the friends are doing differently to make them escape this very food uh, hunger crisis I mean uh, from your own perspective 
Yes, um, my brother, we, we, we are trained to uh, kind of uh, take the bull by the horns right from onset. Like I said, I started taking care of myself at the age of 10 to 11 till today. Not that I don't have parents, but I was trained to be strong. I was trained to live a life of that is in, uh, 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 dependent, that kind of independence. Being independent, not dependent life. You know, but houses are living what they call dependent and attachment living. They believe in the oil. Okay, now, if this oil now dries tomorrow, if this very oil dries today, you will find out that the houses will die very quick. That is why they are hell bent on the issues of the unity of the zoo. They say that it's unnegotiable. That is why, because they know that they don't have anything. They don't have any. They don't have anything on ground. They don't have any investment. They don't have any hope. They don't have any plan for their children, for their generations, for their families, for their states. Despite all the stealings, you still see them suffering from ill treatments, maltreatments, uh, malnourishment, uh, uh, kind of hungers, diseases, in infections, and stuff like that. And the, those of them, they are men that are protecting that in Mishalao. It must be this man. How many of them have been able to uh, kind of set a strategic plan to uh, kind of supply to them and rather they are using their property to make money in, in international communities. They set up a, a kind of, they call it a, 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 a NDDC something or whatever. The, the, the people that did, uh, the, 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 the home were displaced, they are using it to collect money for the UN, for the UNICEF, from the, 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 the uh, uh, UAE and the, uh, whatever thing they are in short. They steal for the oil, they steal for international community, they use it again to invest in the place and they allow the people to even die. But dear friends, why those things have not been affecting us is that we are very strong people. We are great people. We are full of intelligence. We are very smart. We are the children's generations wonderfully made. A royal priesthood. People that learn it when we learn it very hard. We learn it from the hard, hard kind of hard situations. We, 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 we make things out from nothing from scratch. That is how we were trained, which means we can survive even in the hot water, even in the hot steel. We can still survive in every place where people believe that this area, that nothing is in, is in even, we make something out of every area. That is how we were trained. That is why we are great dear friends. Thank you very much. That is why most of the things that have been happening can never affect us, and it will never. Why? Because we plan ahead of time. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Abroad Amazi, Evi Samudi. Of course, I'll come back to you shortly. Um, Breakfast and all of us of freedom. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Manzi Victor Oyendo. And of course, you can do good to share our program in all the social media spaces. We are on Periscope, we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we are also on WhatsApp, we are also on Facebook. You can do good to log on to our website, which is www.biafantv.co. You can also uh, listen to us via Radio Biafra London because we are transmitting concurrently on Radio Biafra London. Of course, this is a platform where you will come and get the truth established. This is where we expose the lies. This is where we will come to make you understand the nitty gritty of uh, what is going on here. Something you would not ordinarily hear from the Zoom media. This is where we talk about it. This is where we discuss it. And this is where we will chart a way forward of how to restore our sovereignty, our human dignity, which is Biafra. Once again, I welcome you all to uh, Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Please do good to call people back home. Make sure they are listening to Radio Biafra London. Make sure they are watching Biafra television because we are going to bring you nothing but the best. Uh, continue as we are bringing you the rest of the analysis. All right, I want that I will come you once again. Thank you. Of course, uh, you've had the position of uh, Albert Amasi Elvis Saundi. You know, just like uh, the last question I asked him concerning, uh, you know, if you look, take a holistic look at uh, this very list of people that are hit with uh, this uh, uh, food crisis, when they call Nigeria, Nigeria doesn't necessarily mean that the whole of uh, Biafra land is included in that list. They separated it carefully. About 16 states of the northern Nigeria are the worst hit. You understand? Then the remaining percentage is uh, what is uh, what is shared among the remaining uh, number from that system state of the north. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the way they analyze everything, they exempted anything that has to do with any state in Biafran land. Why? What, uh, what do you think that uh, did the magic? Because uh, when you look at uh, uh, Biafran land, you know, uh, literally you see that uh, everything is decay. I mean, no uh, federal structure, no infrastructure development, no electricity, no nothing but still the Afrans are still not among the uh, people that are listed I mean they are not among the people affected with the uh, food and hunger crisis I mean uh, from your own perspective <laughs> what would you make of that 
of course, um, the northern states will be the worst hit because they have grown to be totally independent of their leaders. You know, during the genocidal war against Biafra, uh, when they were using hunger as um, a, a weapon of war, yes. Biafrans, over 3.5 million Biafrans died out of hunger. And I think we learned our lesson from there. Even though they blocked every means of us getting food. They are from naturally are strong people. We are trained to be independent. If you come to Biafra land, you find out that in a family, both the children, like if you're the first son, you will be trained from your childhood how to cater for your younger ones. That is how Biafrans are. We are not dependent and we are not slaves. Of course, the Aousas, they are dependent and they are slaves to uh, the master. They will go to Aousa, you see Alama Jiris, you will see um, uh, uh, even beggars. They even come down, you hardly see a Biafra cobbler. Have you ever seen a Biafra um, being a cobbler or carrying all these uh, uh, little wood, wood uh, this thing they use? Yes, they use them, repairing shoes. No, because we are hard working people, and no matter what they are doing to suppress us, you will see us in masses still coming out there to survive because we are survivors. We've learned how to survive. You know, when you abandon, if you put a Biafra in a desert and leave him there without food, without water, without anything, he will learn how to survive. Yesterday, I talked about a 16 year old Biafra that brought civilization into an Ondo, uh, into, uh, yeah, a Yoruba town. I've forgotten the name of the town. A 16 year old Biafra. If you go into the streets now, you will see 12 years, 13 years, 14 years Biafrans. They will go to school in the morning, come back in the afternoon, they will enter inside streets, start hustling, start looking for a way to feed. They can never go hungry. No matter what is happening, you will see them, they will change. Even though our politicians are doing everything, to suppress us through hunger, through, um, uh, by ensuring that our graduates remain unemployed. They will high the, uh, the uh, uh, rate of uh, education, acquiring education for us, so that we will not be able to acquire education or find it very difficult. Yes. And the world one, you will find out that Biafra women, go inside the market, you see Biafra women hawking pumpkin leaf, hawking uh, bitter leaf, hawking pure water, just to send the children to school. And then when you interview this one and ask them, oh, why are you sending these children to school? When you know that in the end, employment will not be provided for them. They will answer that they want their children to be educated. They know the value of education. And even though employment will not be granted to them, after education, they will enter inside the street and hustle like their brothers and sisters. And that's why you find them still hustling, training uh, uh, them in school, even though the, the, the rate of acquiring education down here, because when you talk about marginalization, you talk about marginalization even in uh, educational system. Down here, they will increase our cut off mark and the jam, they will increase everything, both the school fees and everything. But when you go to the north, now then get uh, free education. They, they, they even pay them. They pay their, their, their little ones for coming to school. They give them also to cajole them into coming to school. Yet they come down here and deny us going to school. And even when we manage to go to school, they will not grant us unemployment. Yet they are the one plagued with hunger. <laughs> Chukwu Tadlama is a very wonderful God. No matter what you do to people, and if they are innocent, it will always backfire. And that is typically what is happening with the northerners. It is backfiring. No matter what they are doing to the Afghans, it backfires on them. If they try to suppress them with hunger, the hunger will plague them. If they kill us, I do not claim them there in the north. Boko Haram are killing them. If they try to kill us there, they will die there. If they kill us in thousands, they will die in millions. So I think um, Biafra is, um, is a nation of God. Biafrans are children of God. And no matter what you do to us, you can never, ever get us to give up. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Wanda Onyechi Nabuko, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, before we go on a break, I would also like to, you know, you just made a point that uh, got me attracted because uh, uh, when you look at the North, I mean, the very figure now that was released now, mm -hmm. as I'm talking to you now, over uh, 7.5 million children over there in the North are, are being faced with this very hunger uh, issue. And uh, if nothing is being done about it, they are likely, you are likely to lose them. Mm -hmm. I mean, in millions. And uh, so, are you trying to insinuate that uh, it might be a retributive consequences of what they did to Biafra children? You know, uh, we lost over 
2.5 million uh, Biafran children during the time of uh, genocide that took place in our land. So uh, is Chukwu Kadema trying to pay them back with what they from the same coin they paid us, or <laughs> what is really happening? Of course, law of karma is active. Whatever you do to people, it has a way of coming back to you. That is just life. No matter whether you're a Muslim, a Christian, a pagan, a Buddhist, the law of karma is applicable to everyone. When you do somebody wrong, and when that person, even we have something we call Are you sure your hand is clean? Are you innocent of the charges? If you're innocent, then definitely come on, we'll have a way of fighting for you, and that's what is happening. But my knows that they are the people that say that they are in power, be they are the ones that voted Buhari in, they are the ones that voted all the uh, no, that if you go to all the political sectors, uh, the Chief of Army Staff is a military man, aviation military man, uh, uh, Navy military man. Not them. Um, not not uh, sorry, not an ass. All of them are not an ass. All of them in the power. So they all of them, they are all not an ass. Now, if they cannot take care of their people, is it their friends they will take care of? Is it possible? The only thing that, during the election, I saw a video of um, an aspiring governor sharing 5,500. <laughs> sharing 5,500 naira to um, the Northerners, Alamadjuis, to yeah. come and vote for him. And now this 500 naira will be the, 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 the salary for the next four years. They will feed. They will, feed. They will continue to feed on that 500 naira, of course. Because that is what they want. If they are supporting this evil man because, oh, he's my brother, and it doesn't matter if he's evil, it doesn't matter if he's corrupt, it doesn't matter if he doesn't care about us, so far he's our brother, let him go there and read. That is what they want. And definitely that is what they are getting. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Wanda, for that. Uh, Wanda Unyechi Nabuko for that wonderful uh, set. People who are wondering it, they are, they are not meant to be there. You can, you can see that uh, since uh, the existence of Nigeria, uh, whenever the flam is, uh, the, all the time that uh, Nigeria is going backward, uh, the time that the, the flam is in leadership, they only know how to do one thing. They know, they know how to rear cows. So they are specialists in that, and they know terrorism very well. That's the specialist in that. Every time that a Southern or a Biafran lead that country is when the country moves, start moving forward. But they don't want to give a chance to us. That's why we want to be independent. We want to get out from that. And until that, Nigeria will continue to go from bad to worse. It will nothing. Even if you, like, uh, like uh, the, uh, uh, your, 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 your colleague there said uh, the other day, that even if you kill all the leaders and they bring new ones, they will continue to be the same because, you know, when the uh, is faulty foundation, we can never stand until that country is disbanded, all the indigenous people will go and start to build their own country. Then they will do well. I hope the United Nations can see from these uh, statistics that uh, they are showing us that it's time to support the, 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 the implement of this, this, that contraption because it's just a human waste. Is that bring people to waste for in that contraption? Do you know how many billions of people that have died since the creation of Nigeria? At least they are, they, they are, they are seeing all these things still. They don't support a self determination. That's the 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 the, 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 the hypocrites. I don't understand. They give they keep giving us bad all the bad statistics that Nigeria possesses, but they don't support what you can make it better. So what I mean, that's what makes me confused. Even though I have worked with, with the United Nations, but I cannot understand their system. They are men, not meant for, for black African people. I, I, I keep saying that because I know from the meetings we have been going, there is a point where, where they will come and they will say that uh, they will just eliminate all Africans from the meeting. But nobody will tell you that. That's what's one of the things that made me to say, no, forget about the money. I want to go and find my own, my own thing. You know, I resigned from my... All right, Mazi, please, can you come in talk so that we can have other callers? Yes, thank you very much. But uh, I hope our people will continue to support IPOB because that's the only way. And that is the only, only time we start moving forward. I thank you very much. And uh, have a good day. 
Thank you very much, and of course, we do appreciate you. Stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, keep the calls coming in. This is Sarah's Daily News Analysis, <laughs> and uh, our lines are open for you to make your calls and uh, to make your contribution as well. And if you have any question, you are still free to ask a question. We'll be glad to clarify you. Of course, uh, Wanda, you, you are saying something. Yes, um, I was talking about um, a girlfriend teenager that was able to construct a house that you can power through that in a particular number. Now, this is a boy that was denied the basic education. So you find out that uh, naturally, their friends are talented people. It, it's not about um, education or anything. It's even if you deny us education, naturally, okay, let's take for instance what happened during the war. Under heavy bombardment, Biafran was, became the fastest rising uh, black nation on earth. Under three years of war, under heavy bombardment, uh, our airport became the busiest airport in Africa. Even though they had um, uh, train several bombs, yet you find that Biafran were Creating, we are innovating. Okay, I'll come back to you. Okay. okay. I have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead and make a contribution. Tell us yeah. where you are coming from. The volume of it is, is too down. Okay, good morning. Mazi, Onida, and Mada, Mada, Onyeshi, and Please tune down the volume of it. Please tune down the volume of I'm hearing I some feedback. I remember the name of our brother. Every, every so old you were. Yeah, I thank all of you. And uh, I thank you as in Namdi. I thank their friends all over the world. My name is Shedrach Wafo. I come from Nenwe in Enugu province. Their friends and I'm the Roma coordinator. So what I want to simple contribute this morning is that uh, uh, if you remember the clues, about Farouk Adam and the uh, Kule from the Yoruba land. They, they have learned how to support their brother. They have learned what good luck did. Which good luck, good luck Jonathan did a lot of things to them. He, put a, he, he built a Ramajiri school. He built a flyover for where rain is not falling for. for. And he, he built flyover and everything. He start to feed in them. At least, at least, some people are supposed to do good things and they learn bad ones. But they, they, this is a look at the man, they couldn't learn only bad things that they learn only how to criticize and they condemn good work Jonathan regime. So, what they did is that they, they couldn't say that. They, Farouk Adam said that even though you see an another man eat you somebody's leg, he will complain. And that is what is going on now. You watch when the nation is just going on. The children of seven years, five years, are there voting in the polling unit. Then after voting, this is very wicked United Nations. We come back and they thought that the northern Nigeria is suffering for this and that. And they haven't said anything about the election or the voting that go go the clean and everything. And another thing that happened, the same Kuya and the and the and the Faruk Adam conversation. The different people have food that we are just doing our food, which now if they finish with us, we should go and they drink our own here. That they have food. Now I want Faruk Adam to use that food they have. To feed the Northern people. Is it not this the same Northern people that have ruled Nigeria almost 100 years now? These same people is in the, in the area is more poverty than the Eastern region that is fighting, doing their business, suffering and growing in enemies, with blood, walking through desert. These people are there permanently paying their people, stealing the money. They go to the UN, they cover everything. Any question they ask them in the UN, in the Thank you very much. Bless you. 
I bless you too. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, we appreciate you for that wonderful contribution and stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, uh, the thoughts and all of us of freedom keep the course coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis and we we are glad you are making your contribution. All right, uh, Wanda, you are saying something? Yes, um, I was saying, Victor, that uh, under three years of war, that is the only taste of independence that Biafra tasted uh, since the colonization. We were able to be the fastest rising black nation on earth. Our airports became the busiest in Africa. We were able to invent a lot of things, uh, including the famous opening. But you find out that both spiritually and physically, we are too much. Biafra is just, Biafrans are too much. We have um, uh, uh, powerful Kabbalists. We have powerful scientists. We have everything. But I think um, elongated years of suffering have made us to lose our sense of belonging. And when you don't have confidence in yourself, when you lose your sense of belonging, when you feel inferior, when you believe what other people are saying about you, you can't put up a fight. You'll be intimidated to put up a fight. And that is what you are battling now. You are battling more of a mental problem than something. Because we are... We are fit. We are fit to f take up this fight. And then go on say that during the war that he's given us few months and he's going to disseminate to be our friends and yeah, after three years he confessed. Eight hours. For eight hours, okay. Imagine, under for eight hours, he's going to... That is, he underestimated their fans, and for three years, we held him in serious battle. And he was able to confess that, yeah, their fans were too much. So we are too much just for our people to start believing in themselves and their capabilities. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Wada Onechi Napuko, for that wonderful submission. Of course, uh, we do appreciate. Of course, uh, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Please keep the calls coming in, and uh, we'll be glad to receive your call at this very moment. We need your reactions and uh, your contribution as well. Keep the calls coming in. Of course, Nazi uh, Evi Samudi, are you there? Okay, well, yes, call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Are you there? Are you? Hello? Okay. Good morning and welcome Can to the program. Me? Please tell us where you are calling from. All right, you can do good to call us back. Of course, we will appreciate to if you do so. The network, the network is just acting up this very morning. Please keep the calls coming in. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Emmanuel Chuku. I am a member of the local Yapala. Okay, please go ahead and make a contribution. Uh, thank you, Chuku. I am keeping you from eyes over there. And also, I uh, thank uh, my our leader, Mazim Kano and the uh, Uchemofo, Ned Mayanya, I Peters. I was there. So, what I'm trying to. Um, I want you to come yes. here at this. All right. Uh, from the submission of uh, our callers and uh, from uh, the point our sister just uh, raised concerning the uh, Biafrans uh, being naturally endowed with some kind of, uh, you know, I don't know how to explain it, with, natu with natural talents, which ordinarily is not something you can get through education. I mean, <laughs> why? I, why is it that uh, other people don't have such talents and uh, all of us have been forced together to be in one country? Okay, um, what I will say to this very um, um, question is that um, when you check it very well, the issue was that uh, our people 
fail to understand who they are. We are the original people. We are the first people that Tuboka Lama created. If you watch it very well according to the scripture, scripture says that man was formed through the clay that is the sand and that is our color. People call us black. We are not black. This our hair. You can't see it anywhere. That is why I pity most of our women that always like to be like Oibo. It seems like uh, they don't uh, kind of uh, recognize who Tuko Kabema is because we are created specially that they cannot get us, uh, our species, elsewhere. That is why we can reproduce. Even if we marry white, white lady, we can reproduce ourselves. But a white man cannot reproduce himself. That is to tell you how special God created us. That is to tell you how intelligent, how wisdom, how great impact that God has imparted in us. We are created to do exploit in everywhere. But the problem is that we have left the origin. We have left whom we are and start chasing shadows. Those that are supposed to be our slaves. Those are supposed to work for us. Now we, the, the, the reverse was the case. We are now working for them. That is why you will see a, 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 a graduate right now rushing to, to the overseas to a kind of do a major job that he cannot be able to do in the Biafra land. All right, I don't let me come know. back to you. I don't so call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Marzon. You know. Welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are coming from. Yeah. Mazi Oyido. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mazi Elvis Oyido. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I remember the men who were in the middle of And we now drink our our petrol, right? That is what they say. Because that people don't know what they are doing to themselves. They think they are they are Of our, of our land and three things we talk that time so this time i grew up now find out that me and my fellow that grew up in home we are very great and strong and i'm great to know what you make you is greeting people anywhere you are stand up now mazi won you chile tuma dane oku please stand with the bar you must rest Down the great people. Eh? Mazo, you do. You, 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 you,
when you need to continue your good work. I am handing up you know, over to people to cut them out because we are the freedom of people to cut them out. Who will kill all women for women? Who will kill all women for women? We never take anybody.